This is breaking news. So just a couple minutes ago, Forbes, the business news platform that is trending all across the world, everybody knows about it, and it's known for its reputable, verified information, posted an article citing Ethereum is dead, XRP is riding to $9,472. Now, of course, this was removed eight minutes after being posted, and this is by the Honda account. Now, I did actually go ahead and look for the source, and it says source here is Forbes. We went onto the Forbes page, and it does show that they have 18.8 .8 million followers. This is the official Twitter page, and again, it even is verified right here. Verified account, the account is a verified because it's an official organization on Twitter. So this actually could be 100% legitimate. The fact that XRP is writing to $9,472, this is actually insane. But this is only the start of today's insanely breaking news epic video. And so I recommend you watch it till the end. You hit that subscribe button because we're trying to get as many subscribers as possible. Smash like button because our goal is 500 likes. And most importantly, drop your comment down below. Do you think it's a fake tweet? Do you think it's a real tweet? To be honest, it doesn't make sense because Ethereum is dead and is dying. But that being said, let's jump right into the video. So a major attorney known as... John E. Deaton, that has over 75,000 XRP holders behind him, has once again made it clear that XRP is not a security and that he thinks there's going to be a decision within regards to the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. Now, we've talked about this and we've you know showed you guys that there are two possible outcomes of this Ripple SEC lawsuit. The number one is the settlement between Ripple and the SEC, and number two is actually a verdict or a decision made by Judge Torres, the lawyer or the judge in the actual case of the ICC versus Ripple lawsuit. So this is huge. And he also made it clear that this case is going to be the biggest verdict in the global finance history, citing the fact that the pressure is on Judge Torres to make a verdict on this case, and that it's a no-brainer as XRP is clearly not a security. Now I'm going to go ahead and roll this clip for you. It's about a minute and 42 seconds long, but it is one very interesting one that I think you're going to absolutely love, specifically because it all impacts XRP. The coin that most of you guys watching this video are invested in keep in mind this is not financial or legal advice but again all of these news articles that i'm showing you guys could actually result in the xrp price pumping based on the external factors of you know investors buying into this coin but it's very interesting and let's go and roll the clip to hear what he has to say this decision gets bigger and bigger so i just want you to think about those those of you out there who are thinking about this why hasn't she ruled yet what i doubt very seriously that judge torres has ever felt the pressure that she's feeling right now. Ripple is sending, hey judge, look what the judge in Voyager said. Look what the Judge Gorsuch at the Supreme Court said about fair notice. All of these things are happening after. She's getting more information. Look at the SEC's conduct. Look at Binance. Look at the CFTC. All of this stuff is happening in the background where you got guys like me saying the regulatory clarity is gonna come from her. You got the library decision. You don't think she's aware of all this? So this decision is as big of a decision that this judge has ever faced. Think about it. What other decision is as big as this decision when it comes to global trade and finance in modern history? I've said before that this case is the most significant non-fraud SEC enforcement action since 1946. So at that kind of pressure, personally, I don't blame Judge Torres for being very careful of how she words this decision because, A, if it goes against Ripple, she knows it's going up to a conservative court. And if it's for Ripple, she has to justify it and all those things. So just be patient. We're almost at the end. Everybody have a great night. See you next week. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's an insanely crazy ruling that this is going to be, specifically for not just XRP, but the entire crypto market and the entire global financial industry. Now, before I talk about settlement, because this is something that we have to take note of and it's insanely important, and in fact, there's a lawyer that went out and said it's going to settle by May 6th, let us talk about this JoseMetalCrypto.com website where you can get yourself a Ripple XRP coin with case. Yes, your own physical Ripple XRP coin, and you can actually get it in gold and or silver, and it comes with a juicy freaking case. They have multiple styles like the Juicy XRP coin with case or the Ripple XRP coin with case, in addition to a ton of other cryptocurrencies like USDT, Stellar XLM, Shiba Inu, Litcoin, Bitcoin, Poke, Cardano, Dogecoin, and the list goes on and on. And you can get yourself a personal 10% off if you do use the link in the description. 
Anyways, that being said, let's jump right back into the video because it's insane and watch it till the end. All right, so about a month ago, the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit verdict might be issued before May 6th, says Pro XRP Lawyer. Now, who's this Pro XRP Lawyer? Well, it's the same guy, John E. Deaton. In fact, he has stated that he believes the SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit is going to actually end by May 6th of 2023, which is insane because we are currently in April 21st. This article is written April 13th, and May 6th is just a couple weeks away. In fact, news forecasting the current legal dispute between Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has been made by attorney John Deaton, the founder of Crypto Law The Lawyer, who represents over 75,000 XRP token holders in the Ripple SEC lawsuit. In fact, he believes that the summary judgment might be issued within 60 days of the Derber motion decision, and citing the fact in his exact claim statement and tweet, he cites, we are about five weeks away since she delivered the Derber ruling and the summary judgment can come any time now may 6 would put us at the 60 day mark before which there is a possibility of the judgment and of course dean claimed that since the prolonged lawsuit has received a lot of attention from prominent of cryptocurrencies that just feels more than obligated to have to address those issues even though she technically doesn't because just George is like a great judge according to d and she won't want to put off making a ruling about xrp secondary market transactions Saying the fact that I say that just because of amicus breach from XRP holders, Coinbase Amicus, Blockchain Association, Chamber of Digital Commerce, Spend the Bits, Tapjets, Aramet, and a slew of other. And if according to another attorney called Jeremy Hogan, Ripple will trump fund in the SEC litigations if the judge or her law clerk is knowledgeable about cryptocurrencies. On the contrary, if the judge doesn't know what a crypto is, that is a line in the sand that disqualifies him or her from hearing the case. Jeremy Hogan's also stated that cryptocurrency is decentralized, and keep that word in mind because it's so important. Decentralized, since no one owns the community, therefore it makes sense that someone may purchase XRP as an investment without interacting or entering into a contract with anybody. While traders and analysts are bullish about XRP's trajectory, the outcome of the protracted case may have a huge impact on the future of the cryptocurrency market. This is a no-brainer guaranteed fact. But that's not all. Here's some more news. The congressional testimony that happened on April 18th of 2023 where Gary Gensler was forced to testify in front of Congress and, of course, the House Financial Committee. That was an insane hearing. I put the video on. The previous video actually shows you all of that and it shows you the key parts. But what's extremely bullish for Ripple, suggesting that Gensler may not have the time, energy, and even the credibility to fight such a high-profile XRP lawsuit while also battling Congress. This is what I've been talking about. This is what I tell you guys when I talk about settlement. Settlement, settlement, settlement. And the facts prove settlement. And I've been telling you guys about settlement, but nobody ever listens. And I read you guys in the comment section all saying that XRP is never going to, you know, win this lawsuit or Ripple's never going to win this lawsuit. Ripple's never going to settle. And I tell you guys here quite loud and clear, the Ripple CEO said he would settle. I have the statement. He have the exact clip. And I'll show you guys it in a future video. I have showed it to you guys in the past. He said he wants to settle, and now the you know the SEC wants to settle as well because if they don't settle, they're going to be put in a very very bad position. So again, this is what we're talking about when we talk about settlement, for settlement in fact for the SEC because there is no other option. Either they're going to lose the lawsuit or they're going to settle, and settlement for the SEC is the best option. And it's in fact going to be the option that they will go ahead and take. And so I tell you guys all, what do you guys think the price of XRP is going to be once a settlement happens or once this lawsuit is fully resolved? I'll be reading and responding to your comments down below. As well as make sure you guys drop a follow on my Twitter page at Crypto Geek News. Of course, I always post on there. Twitter is also, you know, my main platform that I use. Instagram at Crypto Geek YT. All my social media links are down below in the description. So make sure you follow them. Also, like I said, check out MetalCrypto.com to get yourself a Ripple XRP coin case. And that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.